What's up everybody? It's me from the future here, getting ready to edit this video when I get home. But this weekend quick rundown was we just pretty much went to West Virginia to a buddy of a buddy's property to pretty much map out trails for him. It was a good time. Enjoy the video. It's kind of sporadic. I didn't pull my phone out of my pocket as much as I did. I should have. And then a lot of these photos are just saved from other people taking photos. So it's kind of a slideshow with a little bit of video. Still enjoy, it was a good time. Definitely go back to that property. Probably bang some of you guys out there. If you'd like to go with this, comment down below so we can kind of judge on how popular the next ride might be. So see you, thank you. What's up everybody? No video last week because I was out training and um, getting trained on a vehicle platform. That's about all I can say with that. More to come later for that. Um, but it is Friday, November 11th, uh, Veterans Day. Me and little Peyton here are headed to uh, near Grundy, Virginia. We've already passed through Virginia. We're coming up 460 now because we've got like a Veterans Weekend thing to uh, John's, one of his buddies. Sorry for the camera shaking here, but one of his buddies has some land and we're gonna go explore the land and bust some trail and all sorts of fun stuff. So I'll take some video where I can. We've already made it through like 10 massive rain cells. Um, it's actually like kinda sunny right now, but it's supposed to rain pretty much all weekend we're here, but nothing wrong with that. All right, so hope you like this video. We're gonna start doing stuff like this as we take trips. Peyton's having fun seeing cows on the side of the road. So, all right, here we go.
Yeah, this is where we're at. This is what we've been doing all morning. Um, kind of trails that are already here because it they have a big like target complex. But the amount of elevation you climb here is ridiculous. Right there is Tony and his FJ. Uh, it is crazy up here. I'm walking ahead the trail. So I'll push up the trail usually, and then walk the trail to see to make sure we can still keep going before we push everybody else up. We just keep leapfrogging like that. That's where Turn they're... passenger, 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 passenger. Sorry, yeah. Passenger more. Yeah. All right. Now good, come forward driver. Am I on the way? You're good. So I just made it through. Now let's get everybody else through. Yeah, yeah. Come, come in hot. Back up a couple feet and come in. There you go. You're right there. Right there. Yup, 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 up, oh, up, up, all right. Rear locker, rear locker, maybe. All right, you might be lighting your back end, but let's see what, let's see a uh, little bit driver, a little bit driver. Right rear's not spinning. I am not seeing it. Right rear's not spinning. Yeah. Let's, let's back up like two feet or like one foot. Nope. You may pull them. Yeah, let's just. Let's see if he makes it up the hill. Last truck. Thanks for watching the video. No more working on mine this week. Did a timing belt, it's Monday morning here. Um, did a timing belt on this Tundra this morning. In the morning, it's gonna get a uh, oil change in alignment and then it's done. And then it's on to Sweet Brown, it's back again. This time we're doing a carrier bearing for the front and I have to do a pump for the transfer case just so it has more capacity with a cooler. And I think that's it. No, I gotta do a center console as well. Um, so this is gonna take up the rest of my week. So mine gets pushed behind as normal. Um, nothing has changed since the last time you guys saw a video on it. 
radiator still mocked in place, but after thinking about it, because, you know, wheeling in the woods, I like to think about other things half the time. We are going to move these bars right here that go up to the inside an angle. They're gonna land back here now. Um, that's gonna help us two ways. One, it's gonna help support this tire, otherwise it's just this 120 wall DOM supporting a full tire. I mean, it'll have some gusses down here that kind of tie in and do the fuel tank cage. So it'll be kind of triangulated, but just those guys right there coming back here, it's just gonna help everything out. It's gonna support the rear for the shocks more. And it's just gonna, it's just gonna help. So we're just gonna do that. Um, that'll happen probably the next video, video after that when we get working on this thing. Um, but two bender came in, it's together. So thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.